So here we have a Philips semi-automatic turntable made in Germany. I think it's an S22. I'm not sure about the model. I'll find out later. But uh, yeah, here it is. Uh, I have a couple. One is in uh, really good shape. The other one is just missing the, the plug and I'll show you in a second. But what I mean by the plug is the output plug. So this is like the, the cover, one is missing the logo, but uh, it's all right, like it's just some like light scratches for its age. I know it's like a really old unit, so I cannot really be very picky about it. So right now it's playing a, uh, uh, a vanilla and it's spinning, like no trouble. So if I stop it, the button stop stays pressed until it returns, then it pops back up. And to put it back on, like I said, it's a semi-automatic. It doesn't mean it will go in, it only goes out. So to put it in, it took me a few tries to like, how to understand how to do it. Like this is a little misleading. Um, it says start, but what I do is just start the, the lever here, put it on start. As you can see, it will start spinning. And if I was to take the pen and, and, and put it in here, it doesn't go up all the way down. It stays there. So what I do is just, uh, I put it here on the menu and it starts playing, like like I said, like the, the stop button, I don't really use at all. And the other one is it works the same way, or maybe I'm doing something wrong. But the fact that the other one does the similar thing, it tells me like it's a design thing. It's not a malfunction. It's not like being funky. So I'm just gonna stop it again. And these units like could have a, I seen a couple of these before in the past. These units have a tendency to like stick the button. So when you press it, it stays uh, put on the underneath. So um, you just wanna like jiggle it like that one, I, I, it hasn't given me any problems, but so let's say, uh, so right now it's plugged in on the wall. So I'm just gonna press start. Right now it's at 33 speed. You can see it's spinning. That one just finished spinning. So it reverted to manual. So this one is, is dropping and just, uh, yeah, it should be fine. <laughs> Like to just, uh, if it had a nail, but it doesn't. Let me just put it back in, if I, see if I can see it. Oh, and I don't have the spindle for that one. So um, I'm just gonna borrow this one. But uh, the fact that I have two of these together, like I was very surprised to, to be able to find them, quite frankly. No, I didn't find them together. I find this one and about like six months later, I found this one and I, I just took it <laughs> the guy um he only mentioned that the only thing that's not working as expected well i mean it's, it's not that it's working it's not working it's just that it's missing the plug so this is the output um this is like one of those european models kind of thing so this is the five pin it's like very i thought it was like proprietary for phillips it isn't it's just like um, European standard. I've seen a couple of adapters that you can take one of these five pins and convert it to a RCA. So you can instead use one of these Americanized versions. So I don't have the plug for this one, but it should come handy for parts. So if you just want to find the plug as well, you're like well with soldering and whatnot, that definitely can help. So I just put here in start let's see if it's gonna try to yeah it didn't so like the other one uh it stays there it's not really touching the veneer but this one has a good needle so i just put it back to menu and it's spinning it's not it doesn't really have an output cable but it, you can hear it like i'm gonna shut up now And my vinyl is not the best. Um, I bought it on a thrift store. So <laughs> I just wanted to be able to test a couple things. I don't have a collection anymore. 
I used to have a huge collection, not anymore. So that's uh, basically in a nutshell, this is like solid uh, wood, it's not the imitation wood. It's really pretty turntable. Um, it will give you good service if you like take care of it. So I'm gonna push stop, it should do the same. Went back up. And I don't know, it went back there for some reason. Yeah, that's fine. But it plays, um, it just needs the output cable. I think uh, it's a good deal. Like I said, it's a really pretty uh, set of turntables that you can get for cheap. Um, you just need to find a, a, like an app, uh, sorry, a receiver like mine that has like the European standard for output. I, I couldn't really get my speaker to work for the demonstration, but uh, yeah. I think the fact that you can kind of hear it if you like manual spin it with a with a pin in here, like that that's good. I mean, you're not hearing my record; you're just seeing it spin. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm not sure about the the quality of the needles that I have right here. Like uh, I see that the the diamond one here on the top, and then I see like an M. So it's definitely uh, another brand. But uh, all the other stuff is the same, the speed, the automatic uh, logo for lips, um, start stop, start manual. It says automatic, but I could, I could only get it to do like the semi-automatic, which is auto return. So when I do the, the start, let's see what happens on this one. On that one, I couldn't make it do stuff but uh, on this one let's see all right start spinning okay i don't think maybe i need to give it a push all right this one do you need to do the level thing so i have no clue then <laughs> i've just been using this one for a while uh when i get some new stuff i use it for a while and then i get some other new stuff and sell it that way i can like scratch the itch of like i love vintage audio equipment so I can scratch the itch of having uh, new stuff, different stuff all the time. So, oh, was it because it was in manual? All right, let's do another test. Let's put it on stop. All right, it should drop. No, it didn't drop. Don't drop it. It did drop. It. Okay. So this one has troubles with the return, but. Uh, that's all right. So let's push push the lever upwards for start. And uh, all right. Huh? It didn't it didn't have the restriction that it didn't allow me to push it all the way here, but that's why I guess. So that I pushed it down to manual. It's not playing. And you can hear my crappy record going. Da -da 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 -da. But uh, yeah, that's basically it in a nutshell. And uh, check out my other vintage electronics. I have, um, right now, I have a couple of uh, cassette players. One's a Yamaha and the other one is a Fostex. That one is not really a cassette player, but it's meant for like recording like multiple instruments on a separate uh, cassette track, I think. So yeah, thank you very much and have a good day.